Edwards may be hurt. Nice knee. Chalowicz in Looking trouble. to finish this fight. Jim Miller all over Kowal Chalowicz. Chalowicz. Such an incredible wrestler. He hasn't really shot against Miller. Yeah, well, that's really his style. Nice uppercut. Chalowicz may be hurt. Nice knee. Chalowicz in Looking trouble. Looking to finish this fight. Jim Miller all over Kowal Chalowicz. It is all. Jim Miller! This is what started it. Check this uppercut. Uppercut right on the chin. Chalaru staggers back. Jim Miller knees him. There's the knee. Chalaru goes down and Jim Miller swarms. Certainly made him count his last time out against Jason Gonzalez. Big counter right now for Guida. Miller's got this, guys. He's out. No, he's out. Clay Guida's is out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He is out. She is out. Miller with his patented guillotine yeah. submits Clay Guida. How do you like Jim Miller? Left high kick. Guida lands a huge right hand. Boom. Counters. So nice. Hurts Miller. I mean, it was a beautiful counter right hand. And then we see Miller just set his back foot right here, and he does the exact same thing. He trades and lands on Guida. Hurts Guida, and then jumps straight to the guillotine. And right here, you see he's out, he doesn't get a chance to tap. I mean, he was already hurt, and then he got put in the guillotine. And it was a little bit of a late stoppage again. I mean, that's three in a row tonight. Miller's still back in a punch there at 38. Uh, oh! 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 What a way to set wow! the record! In a no-win situation, boom! Look at that, left hand on the button, crumples him on the spot. That is it. Sees the opening, takes it, and look at that. Did, did it pull forward or back? Went down. Let's, Let's take, take a listen. listen. Well, and that speaks to his recoverability, his experience. Oh, he got on the whole right for Jim Miller! Huge punch, Lazarus, and he gets it done. And let's see this finish here. Nice right hook lands oh. on the money. Right hook versus the right hand, and the right hook landed first. We haven't seen that. And look at the finish. He swarms him right here. Boop. Hits him again. Leaping right hook. Beats the right hand. And look at these punches landed. Peterson gives him some time to recover. He couldn't get it done. Right hand lands. And the follow up. In this fight, as he wants to, but right now, yeah. Jim Miller's earned a little respect and has him blocked. Oh, oh, Miller stunned him with that left hand. White again. trouble. Jim Miller trying to close the show. White's trying to get half guard to pull him in close. Jim's got to find space to find that kill shot. He's got him hurt bad. He's gonna choke him. He's gonna choke him. He's got it. There it He's is. got the net. White bleeding out of that nose, trying to fight the choke. Here's the pick. Jim Miller. What a performance. Turning what back the clock. Let's take a look at it again. He clips him with that left, and then steps forward right to the body, and that big left over the top. That one stunned him. He saw he was hurt, closed the distance, cracked him with another left hand there, got him down. Alex tried to survive and cover up. Jim looked for some openings, got a couple of elbows in there, but finally sunk that rear naked choke in for the victory. Beautiful job by Jim Miller. Yep. Oh! Oh, oh guillotine. Oh, that's tight, that's tight. That's really tight. Oh, you're in trouble if you get caught that with Jim Miller. If he mounts him, Joe, he's not letting him out. This is very, very that tight. Is tight. Donald's head is beat red. And his arms are stuck in there. Stop, stop. There's the tap. Wow. Jim Miller exacts his revenge, submits Cowboy Cerrone. He is the all-time wins leader in UFC history. Smile, you're on cricket. Oh, Donald slipped. After he landed the head kick, Jim jumped. Oh, beautiful. Job. They both throw head kicks. Cowboy actually lands the kick, but he trips as he lands the kick. Miller jumps on him. Jumps on the guillotine. Arm and guillotine, like Joe said, but then he trapped the right arm. So Donald couldn't even use it to push. He couldn't use his arms to posture because Joe had him so tight. I mean, this is where he tapped that. Guillotine. He drove Jim to it. 
Jim Miller with the submission attack. He's trying to adjust. He does not have the right leg over, though. Well, he's got that pretty tight, though, Mike. Trying to finish it. Oh, he might have it. He might have it. He's very, very, very close. Boy, Yancey's trying to get out of it. Wow. Boy, Yancey's got hard, I'll tell you that, man. A lot of guys would have tapped there. He's out of it. It's all over. He's out of Jim Miller, winner by submission. And here's a straight left to the body by Miller that hurt Yancey. You see Yancey cover up. And here Miller throws him to the ground and then immediately catches that guillotine and slides right under him. And readjusts, tightens it up. And Yancey went limp. Mario Yamasaki recognized it and stopped the fight. One thing into next. Oh, and he took him down. Look, he's going for a leg lock. Big shots to the body. Jim's got a leg lock. It is all over! It is all over! Jim Miller submits Charles Oliveira! Now check this out. Now what happened was Oliveira attacks the leg, but Jim Miller recognized that he left his own leg open, grabs a hold of it, and Oliveira, what he should have done is push off with his leg. He should have pushed his right leg onto the arm to try to free his foot. But instead, he tried to punch, and look at that. That's a nasty knee bar, too. The angle's very dangerous. And this is a bad spot for Ludwig. Ludwig explodes, but he's going to give up an arm. He's got to be careful. Miller, oh, Miller adjusted, adjusted very nicely. That arm is very close, Mike. Looking to finish the fight. Can he get the arm bar? He's Looking for the submission. His hips. So far, Ludwig is doing a great job of defending. He's he got, got it. it. He got it. It is all over. Wow. And here you see Jim Miller connects with the right hook, drops Ludwig, and immediately just jumps all over him. Instantly went from side control to mount. And as Ludwig tried to buck him off, look at the control that Miller has there. Switches to an arm bar. Watch him adjust the hips. Got that arm, extended it, locked it out, got the tap. And here you see it right there. Ludwig forced the tap. Able to escape the first attack of the back, but Miller is in a very good position here. Gillard looking to get out. Jim Miller has great position here. Trying to crank the neck. Doesn't have it under the chin, but he can't. Oh, there it is. So attack from Melvin Gillard. And Jim Miller, despite the early onslaught from Gillard, locks up the submission. Here's the end of the fight. Here he is, Jim Miller, just jumping on the back of Melvin Gillard, was able to get it to the mat. And you actually, it was that far hook underneath the leg that was able to take away the balance of Melvin Gillard and brought it to the mat. You'll see that far leg underneath from behind. There's a nice angle of that foot behind the leg taking away the balance. Gets the figure four around the waist of Gillard and didn't waste any time. Just right over the chin, but it doesn't matter. From that position, you have so much leverage. And he did it. He's got it in position. He set that up nicely. He baited him with the left and attacked the right. He, he got him! It is all wow. over! Jim Miller by submission! Very slick. Look, he gets the leg across the face and turns. He put the shin across the face and Kamoyz is shaking his head. You know, from the angle where we were at, we had to watch it on the monitor. It was hard to see. But look, he got it there beautifully. This is going to be carrying a mochila for the rest of this round, possibly. That's tough to do. I mean, carrying this, this man on your back, trying to strangle you, this is where Jim Miller always gets his finishes, right here. There it is, it's in, it's under the chin, and that's sunk in, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Gonzalez wincing, Jim Miller, trying that's to light it. up this Florida crowd. He might go to his gun. There's a tap! Jim Miller gets it done in front of the kids! Wow! Wow. Very nice, he takes the back here, he throws that left hook in and then goes straight to the body triangle. That's like a zip tie around the body. Then you see him control the hands here as you see Gonzalez in that fight for the hand control. And he just starts arching his back. That creates a lot of pressure on the ribs and the belly of Gonzalez. From here, he sinks under the chin. He's fighting the hands, gets it on the same side. You see Jim Miller's head next to the ear of Gonzalez. That makes it so much tighter. Those are perfect fundamentals, bye. Grab your own bicep and then you just prevent the arm from being straight. And you then take your knee you put it in the foot of Jim Miller and you start to pull it out, you start to slide it out. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, wow. Just like that.
Let's, let's see this takedown right here. He throws up kick, and you know, Jim Miller just timed a low kick at the same time. It was just chance, and he's able to get that top position, get those underhooks, but right here, to transition to the arm bar from here is perfect. You see him, see, he sees it now, and then from here, he throws it over the head, and we'll listen right now for the tap. With a guy like Jim Miller, Jim Miller is an expert at closing the show once he's gotten in a bad spot. And Joe, this is one of his best positions we've seen this throughout his UFC career. He's got the hands clamped together. Gomi's in big trouble now. But Gomi's got to really fight those hands, and as he does, Miller just sinks him in the other way. Also look if Miller may, may decide at one point in time to engage his legs and try to trap one of Gomi's arms and his legs, giving up the body triangle if he doesn't feel like he could get past the defense without it. Now he's got him flattened out. Oh, Gomi's great position this is it. for Jim Miller. That's it. Looking to end this fight right here, right now. That's it. Because him. And it's all over! Jim Miller finishes Takanori Gomi. Beautiful, beautiful performance by Jim Miller. He catches the kick, takes him to the ground, immediately gets on his back, and then you see that razor-sharp back control by Jim Miller. Just did a fantastic job of controlling the position, looked for the submission, and then once he got him flattened out, he said he's just gonna pound him out here. And so just ferocious ground and pound from the top and put Takanori Gomi away. 15th career victory. He's you know, done nothing to win the fight. Joe, I said to Jim Miller earlier today, I said... All right, now he's got it under the neck. He's got he it deep, it here. Mike. That's deep, that's it. It is all over! We couldn't tell from this angle, Mike, but it looked like what he did was he controlled one arm. All right, you see here, Mike, he controlled that left arm of David Barron's with his left leg, and that was how he was able to sink the choke in. Barron was unable to defend it with that left arm. He only had one arm to defend the choke. Miller slid it underneath the neck and got the tap. So Miller is the winner, and he wins by rear naked choke. Yo. Oh, oh wow. That's going to be it. Oh, it's no. all over. Oh, man, oh, look at it. It's sticking nasty. Out. Oh, yeah. Pop. Oh, there it is. See it pop up. Oh, and he knew right away. Look at that. 48 and 2. Here you see it again. As soon as he threw it, he knew something was seriously wrong.